So in this recording, I want to show you how the data transfer works when we use Rick Mediva in with the standard workflow. And uh, you remember that the data uh, is sent from an MR scanner or from PAX, and then it's being automatically processed by the Nordic Medieval platform, and then the results are sent back to the PAX. So this is the Nordic Medieval dashboard, and here we can see uh, data that uh, previously was analyzed by the system. And I will now show you how to send data from a remote uh, DICOM entity. So we will use Nordic ICE as a remote entity and send the data from Nordic ICE into the system and then receive the results back to Nordic ICE. And um, I will explain in other videos how the rest of this uh, dashboard works. So this is Nordic ICE. So this is our research tool, but it has a, a very nice database and we will use it right now to mimic a PAX system. So uh, we have some cases here and I will select one case and then I will send that to the remote entity. So I select one case and uh, I select the perfusion series of that case because that is what is being sent to the remote entity. So here you see there are different remote entities uh, where data can be sent and I will select now the Nordic Mediva platform and I will send data to there and you see that the data is being sent and being transferred over the network to Nordic Mediva. And we can then go back into Nordic Mediva and we see that we now have a new entry in the list and that the data is being processed. And we can go in and look at the details and you see that the processing of the perfusion maps is ongoing here right now. And afterwards, uh, DICOM export will export results. And we can then have a look at the log file if we want to, to see more details about what is being done. So you see here that it has produced several output maps that have been sent. So now the data has been sent to Nordic guys and we see here that we have some new data sets, new, new series that, that have been received. Uh, and these are the output map that has been specified in the Nordic Medieval platform to be sent after the perfusion analysis is done. And so we see now that we have the new output maps available in Nordic Eyes. So these have all been uh, produced now by uh, Nordic Mediva. So we can select, of course, one output map and then we can open it and have a look. Uh, so this is the uh, CBV map. Uh, we have the typical output map that you would uh, want to use for, uh, in this case, a brain tumor evaluation. And we can, of course, open the uh, three-dimensional uh, data sets and have a look at that. So these are then the results that have been produced by Nordic Mediva. Typically, of course, you wouldn't go in and monitor the queue in the Nordic Mediva dashboard as you uh, did right now. So what you would typically do is just select the remote entity uh, or this might be done automatically. Data is sent and then uh, a while after data has been received and uh, you can evaluate results. Uh, so in a typical standard workflow, there is no need to go into the dashboard and monitor the queue uh, as this is all automatically done. So here we see the output map that has been produced automatically by the Nordic Medieval platform. So in another recording, I will explain to you all the different parts of the Nordic Medieval dashboard and how you can configure the system.